So part two to what I said before. The question would be, okay, so I give it no definition or I give um, happiness or depression or non-depression a different definition, so what? I gave anxiety a different name. I call it excitement. Why is that of any value whatsoever? Well, that's very simple. The value is how do you approach something, the energy that gets you through the day. It's going to be very, very different if you've set in stone one word versus another, one concept versus another. Or if you just give it, take none of it, d define it whatever you want or don't define it at all or leave it like that. But just the simple fact that you let another point of view creep in. Because this is the point of my entire everything that I'm saying. If you just let another point of view just, it's like eating that apple of doubt in the Garden of Eden. Eat the apple again. Because you are so set in stone that this is, let's say, depression. This is unhappiness. This is so, and this has to be killed. Has to be fixed, has to be treated. Just by letting creep another thought another point of view can change your reality the same way as, the, as that apple changed our comprehension from the all provided for Garden of Eden to struggle, strife and doubt. This is what doubt makes but this time what if you doubt your, your, your now is the reversal of the apple now eat the apple to, to, to forget doubt. And if you are to doubt something, doubt your negative um, and uh, definitions that make you feel helpless. What if, like I said, anxiety. Anxiety was my perfect example where I started to, every time I felt anxious and so on, I started to say, fuck, I'm excited about something. Just by changing the, the name, I started behaving differently. 